So the Collegiate High School, for those who don't know, we started this in 2003. We are now 20 years old. Uh, they started this program as one of two of the first somewhat early college high schools in the state of Texas to where students worked on their high school diploma the same time they worked on their associate's degrees. Not a bad deal. So I skip a lot and I go move around a lot and I apologize. It's just what comes to my mind. I have to say it really quick because if I don't, I'm going to forget. That's age, but it's okay. I'll get to it anyway. So we work with every school district in Galveston County with the exception of Galveston ISD. And we work with Odyssey Academy, which is on the island. Yes, there's presence here at Mainland Center as well, but with their high school is on, their, on, the, on the island. So pretty much they purchase this seat for your child to sit in. They pay for our program to exist for the last 20 years. They put a lot of money into it. I'm not going to lie to you. They really do. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to try to get into it. Here's our mission. The Collegiate High School is to prepare high school students to earn college credit in order to achieve their goals by providing a rigorous foundation of academic and a personal and work readiness skills leading to future education, employment, high demand occupations in the state and global economies. You got all that? What they want you to do is get a college degree and leave the house <laughs> so they don't have to pay for you anymore. Those are facts. They love you, but they only want you back on the holidays or on vacation. Okay, keep on going. So, all the classes are taken here at College of the Mainland. All the classes are taken here. So, here's where I'm going to kind of jump a little bit. If by chance that your son or daughter is in athletic programs at their high schools, we try to work around those schedules. Am I going to guarantee you're going to get a schedule that's going to be conducive to going to school and going to college and playing ball or being in the band or being a thespian or whatever? No, I'm not going to lie to you. If we can work it out, we'll, we'll, let, we'll, we'll work it out. If it doesn't work out, those are decisions you guys have to make as a family, not us. It's absolutely okay to stay at the high school for the next two years or four years, depending if you're an eighth grader wanting to come in as a freshman. It's all right to stay at the high schools, okay? A lot of opportunities. And I, I get that from parents a whole lot. Well, what they're going to miss out on the high school experience. Okay. So uh, you've been there at least two years, so you, you see how it is, and most of you go, mm-mm, and I'm not liking it. You don't have to like high school. They, you know, it's taken me about 40 years for everybody to figure that out, which I do a long time ago. You don't have to like high school. Not everybody does. But it's ingrained in us that we have to get kids out of public education. It is what it is. But t people that are my age, they'll go, oh my gosh, this is a great opportunity. Wish they'd had that when I was in school, because they hated school. So it is what it is. Uh, we look and target students, first generation students, underserved population students, families from low, socio low socioeconomic status. Those are the kids that we would love to be in the program, okay? All students work toward high school graduation the same time they work, or simultaneously as they work on their associate's degree. Do not let this, uh, I tell this, the collegiate high school is full-time dual credit. Dual credit classes, you take a couple of classes a semester, you're going to take at least four classes a semester if you're with us. Not freshmen, don't anybody pull their hair out yet. But the babies, sorry, they're still babies. We're not going to put them in four classes. That's just ridiculously crazy. Because it's a lot of work. It's rigorous work. You're getting high school credit for taking a college course, not just the opposite. Very rigorous. How much late work do you turn in? Seriously, do you turn late work in ever? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, you won't hear because they're going to give you a whopping zero and go home and sleep at night. Yep. Zero F, done. Well, you can't. well, if they only give you four grades a semester, you're going to be in trouble if the first one's a zero. So what's the best you're going to make out of that? I don't lie to you, say, Belcher, you try to scare us. I tell you what really happens. A professor might say, fine, you just turn it in. I'm going to give you half credit. Well, 50% adds better than a zero any day of the week. And you don't have to be a mathematician to figure that one out. Okay? But it is what happens. These are the things that happen. 
I wish Dr. Smiley was here. His favorite thing is his English professor here. He taught in, uh, he taught in Lamarck for 13 years. But he's been here at the college at least as long as me, if not, well, probably 15, so who knows. But he, he does a five-page paper in English 1301, which is freshman English, a 10-page and a 15-page. That's all he does. That's all you do. That's three grades. And I made a zero on the first one. Follow me? I can only pick on you one time. I'm going to go to the other side and pick on everybody else. Uh, okay. So this is the Collegiate High School at a glance. Uh, students enroll as a full-time student. They're a full-time College of the Mainland student. 12 hours, about four classes. If they're junior seniors, junior seniors, okay? Which one, am I not recording? Oh, that's that middle one, right? Did I walk too fast past it? Ching cha. Come on. If not, I'll just turn it around. He'll, he'll... It's coming. Isn't that smart? Sorry. Is that like crazy? <laughs> they should have been doing this during COVID. People should have been videotaping and, and putting it on screen for you guys. I went and bought cameras so our teachers would have that for our kids. They're not going to do anything without a teacher. They need somebody in front of them. Uh, so students enroll in full -time, as full-time college students. We do have some ISDs that allow ninth graders to come. CCISD will allow it. Friendswood ISD will allow it. Odyssey it will allow it. No others. The others have to come over you. There's some of your 10th grade year, junior seniors. They, they've all decided that years ago. I just don't, I don't, I don't fight the battle. Uh, so what we do though, I always tell everybody, nothing's free in life. Uh, taxes and death, pretty much, that's about it. The, uh, the College of the Mainland Board uh, gives students that are in collegiate high school a 40% discounted rate on tuition and fees, which equates to about $500 a semester if you're a full-time student taking 12 hours. One of the students that works for us on Fridays was a former student getting ready to graduate their master's degree in May. Just bought a per parking pass at U of H for this last semester, $660. Those are true. Those, those are true numbers. But the other thing is, you, you're not going to go anywhere in the state of Texas. There's three other, there's three other colors in the state of Texas that have a, a uh, tuition fees that are lower than College of the Mainland. College of the Mainland has not raised tuition and fees since I've been here for 13 years. So, for about $3,000, give or take, you can have an associate's degree. I'm telling mamas and daddies this, because I just saved you about 37 grand. Because it's 20, $25,000 to go to any major university. Those aren't made up numbers, those are real things. Uh, once you graduate high school, you can, you can apply for financial aid, the FAFSA and Pell Grants and things like that. Well, that's about $5,600. Well, $5,600 to $20,000. Hmm, still $15,000 you're going to come out for those that qualify. It's a lot of money. And some of us don't save money well. Me. But my daughter went right here. She's a nurse practitioner. She went right here at College of the Maine. Dang. Dr. Smiley will tell you the same thing. PhD, where did he start his school? Right here, where did he graduate high school? Dickinson, but he started his college right here. So he'll say there's no shame in going to community college. He needs to know that I'm talking about him. I hope he, read, he, needs, to, he needs to watch my recording. He's a good guy. Uh, we also have a lending library. Has anybody paid for books for their students that's in the major universities? It's more than, it's a lot of money. It's more than almost the tuition and fees. It's crazy. So we have a lending library. We lend our books out. We try to provide as many of the uh, access codes because every, every, every course they have now pretty much has some type of computer software program that goes with it. And I'm just talking drafting and CAD or engineering. I mean, uh, not so much the English, the math, the sciences, uh, so, uh, speech, uh, not speech, the other one. Spanish, things like that. So everybody's got something. But we have some really uh, 
generous industry partners that help us out because it gets it, it gets expensive. So this last year we spent like fifty-five thousand dollars on books and access codes. And that's a lot of money. So, but you get that. They get that. We do everything in our power to help them be successful. Besides, go take the test form. We don't take test form and we don't hold their hand and make sure they go to class. They have a lot of freedom here. Obviously, if they're in high school classes, because we do still have students that need high school classes, because not everybody passes the math coming in, because I don't require the math. Your dis certain districts require the math passed on the TSI. That's the placement test. I don't. It's a test. So, but we're going to get you to that point. We teach algebra two and we teach pre-cal. We also teach chemistry and physics. We also teach English one and two, but that's for ninth graders. And world history. And then everything else is gonna be college level classes that those babies are gonna take, eventually. Okay, y'all got all that? I talk fast, so I apologize. Um, college transitions classes. You will hear, if you have an older students and things like that, or maybe you don't, they call them call, I mean, freshman experience courses now at the major universities. Everybody gets to take them. Well, our freshman experience course is here, and we, teach, and we have that our first semester that they're here with us. So it's a college credit, and the next three semesters they're with us is a high school credit. Different classes, different materials. Uh, some of our high schools are teaching Site for Success, which is Site 1300 or EDUC 1300 in, uh, for sophomores. That's great. We're still going to put you in a, in, a, in a success course here, just not going to be for college credit. Technically, it's our way of keeping up with our kids because we don't necessi necessarily see everybody every day because they're on a college schedule. They have Monday, Wednesday classes, they have Tuesday, Thursday classes, and they have Friday classes. We're here from 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock on Fridays. We, I call those which are our, our supplemental classes that we do. We have tutoring for biology. We have tutoring for uh, anatomy and physiology. We have preparing for the real world. We have professional awareness. We have math tutors. We have everything that ne they need in order to be successful on Fridays. Do they utilize all of the services that we have here at the college? They're smart. I, and you wouldn't be here if they weren't smart. We all know our kids are smart. That common sense is going to take them a while, folks. Just And do we have to tell them all the time? Do we tell them and do we tell them and do we tell them again? You don't have to tell them to go get gas in the car because they're gone. But if, clean your room, pick your stuff up in your, You tell them and you tell them and you tell them. It's just what we do. Am I right? Yes. Yes. She's looking. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's the same thing. Good kids sometimes struggle keeping up organization, time management, but that's what we do in our success classes. Or I still, when I interview kids, it says, so how do you keep up with anything? Do you have a planner or anything like that? Oh no, I have a photographic memory. Lord have mercy. <laughs> and it's never a female that tells me things like that. Just have why, you say it. But they have photographic memory. Like, yeah, well, okay. We're, you're getting ready to have a planner in your hand because we're getting ready to show you how to keep up with stuff. <laughs> photographic memory. <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> Whatever. So, this is what we do, folks. I like to say, this is your safety net. This is your safety net here at College of the Main. We are your safety net. So you know about FERPA? We did, right? You've heard that 15 million times yet? The Family Education Privacy Act? Once that student enrolls at College of the Mainland, all their educational records go to them. I don't care if they're 13 or they're 17. So meaning, I can talk to you about your student, but as soon as, it, like they said, as soon as I have to pull up their ID, you and I can't speak anymore. But they can stand there and say, yes, my mother can hear this. Yes, you can do that. So we're your safety net. You can call me. I can talk to a college professor, you can call Miss Wren, she can talk to a college professor, but they're not going to talk to you. And you got to, it's, it's hard to let go because I absolutely know who's paying the bills. I know that. I've known it for years. They don't have any money. We all know that. But I had somebody say the other night, well, you can just stand over behind them and get their password. No, you don't. You tell them to give your password right off. Give me your password and your ID and how to get into your web advisor. So you can see the stuff that's going on. You can look in their D2L, 
That's the uh, platform they use here at the college, kind of like Canvas, so you know when grades are due or when things are going to be posted. Professors only have to post one grade by policy, and that's the last one. Don't expect you to see 30 grades on Skyward or Naviance. Or, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So you got to stay on them. What do you have to do? Oh, I finished everything. Well, great. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You love them. If they don't have to do something, they're going to try not to. It is what it is. So, okay, next. I'm preaching now. <clears throat> uh, just like I said earlier, they have the opportunity, since we're such close proximity to all of our high schools, they can still participate in extracurricular activities, football, soccer, softball, volleyball, whatever it is, band, as long as the schedule works out. If it doesn't work out, that's a decision y'all make as a family. Um, we also have a banquet. We also give you collegiate high school cords, which you can wear at your high school graduation. And for the most part, if you graduate with an associate's degree with us, you'll graduate about two weeks, two, two and a half weeks before you graduate high school. Just saying. Okay. Okay, admissions requirements. I need you to be college ready in, in reading. That's what I need. Your high schools might want math. So it'll also say at the top of the admissions requirement, meet with your high school counselor. Meet with your high school counselor or meet with the college and career readiness counselor that's there at the high school so you know what their procedures are. Dickinson has their own procedure. They have Google Docs that they work with and that's how they want you to do it. To my knowledge, I'm gonna to try to say this off the top of my head, we had a meeting the other day. Dickinson, I believe May 5th is their deadline. And when they say deadline, y'all, they mean it. I believe Santa Fe's is May 5th. Not one for, F, for Friendswood, not one for CCISD. I believe May 1st, around that first week in May for Odyssey. Who else? Hitchcock is going to be, Hitchcock and Texas City Lamarck is going to be the Friday before spring break. So that doesn't give you a lot of time. Especially if you don't qualify based on any of the exemptions, if you're going to qualify with the TSI. Because they have testing dates. Don't ask me those dates because I would be for sure. Yes, sir. What's that deadline for? For who? What, what is the deadline for? Having this application ready back to them. Having the application back to them. Yes, sir. Most of our students are junior, senior classification. Most of our students come over the spring, of, I mean, uh, the summer of their, before their junior year, for the most part. Because this is what you need to do, need to remember, 60 hours, 60 hours for a two-year degree. So if you're with us for four semesters, what am I saying? Fall and spring of your junior year, fall and spring of your senior year, that's 48 hours. So at some point, you're going to take summer classes. You're going to take more than 12 hours. And there's so many sessions in there. You could talk about it at a later date, whatever. So sometime you're going to take something more than what you already have. Now, so many of our schools have dual credit programs, like I said, at their 10th grade year. So they're already coming with some, with some, uh, some credits. So that helps a lot. If you're a freshman coming in, you're going to take two classes a semester the first freshman year that you're here. So you only have two classes a semester. As, huh? And sophomore years. And sophomore years, yeah. <laughs> Do we encourage people to graduate early? No, I don't. Just take your time and take care of your business. Make good grades. Um, the admissions requirements right here. If you look on the second page, she's going to show you on, our, on the website, on, on College of the Mainland's website, there, the Collegiate High School has a, a page as well, and we can see where, I can show you where the application is. The key to being at the Collegiate High School, which separates us from other early colleges in the state of Texas, you have to show college readiness in order to be here. That means you have to have passed the TSI, or you need to use an exemption, an EOC, a 10th grade PSAT, or the SAT, and or that bridge program or own ramps. I think it's more the bridge program that they do now in some of the high schools as well. So 950 
or diagnostic of six. And, oh, that was math, sorry. Uh, and those are the English, uh, 945, yeah, 945, and SAF 5. So let me tell you when you're gonna take the, if you haven't taken the TSI, this is what I'm gonna tell you. The only trick I know, and it's not really a trick, it'll tell you to write 300 words on the essay, you need to write six. And you're going, oh my gosh, I've never written 600 words in my life. Well, get ready, 600 words. It's a computer that checks it. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I feel like it does. <laughs> So, I can always know if somebody hasn't, hasn't, you can always tell how many they've written if they haven't done as well. I mean, you're in English too. My guess is most people are in here English too and they're in a pre-AP English two class. I mean, come on now. You ought to be able to write. You'll learn to write if you don't know how. I promise, if you're a freshman, you'll learn. You won't have any choice. Ma'am? Which one? Oh my gosh. This is kind of being a pain today, yeah? Come on, little baby. Come on. There you go. Okay. That'll be an interesting video. Okay, so did I say with if you're gonna to come to campus, if you're gonna to come to class on our campus, you absolutely have to have a meningitis vaccination. Or there's a state waiver somewhere, but you'll have to get it. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, that's the process of the admissions, at least you know what the counselors are having to turn. But what I can tell you, the Collegiate High School makes the final decision on, on folks coming over uh, to be in our program. But there's also an interview before you can even, before we even say go. Because I need to sit with mama or dad or grandma or I don't care who I'm sitting with. Because we all need to be on the same page. I don't need to be your idea, I need to be their idea. Because this is a big step. It's a big step. And regardless, it's only $3,000, it's still $3,000. So. Are you limited on the kids you take? No, ma'am, I'm not limited on the amount of, uh, no, whoa. Some school districts limit the number. And the only one that limits the number as of today is Hitchcock. And that, no one else, no one else has told me they were gonna limit anything. Yeah. Okay, so. So here is your graduation plan. Everybody gets a copy of that. She meets with everybody. She meets with everybody each semester, Miss Wren does. She's the bomb, I promise you. She knows her business. We do our very best to try to get it out of you, what you want to do in your life, and yes, you can change it, and I know that. But some people have made their minds up, this is what I want to do, I'm going to a and I'm going to UT, you know you need to be in the top 6% in order to get into UT. Just telling you that. So, I'm going to go into UT's College of Engineering, that's what I want to do. So we try to move you into coursework other than those first 48, 40, Actually, it's the core course, it's 42. Anything above 42 is extra. But we try to move you into the courses that they're gonna accept for your degree path at your next university. One more time, no reason to waste money taking classes you don't need. In the day, 10 years ago, not that far back, they would let you come to a community college and just take anything because they want you to you know, feel good about yourself and decide what the heck you wanna do in life. That's not their focus now. They want you to focus on what you want to do. And yes, junior, senior in high school, you kind of ought to know something <laughs> about what you might want to do or what you like to be able to move in the next direction. That way you don't waste anybody's time or money. Okay, so let me go back to this. We have students in every major university in the state of Texas. Every major university, we have students. So yes, do they take your classes? Yes. They have to take the core classes no matter what because the state legislature tells them they have to. That's 42. I'm not speaking of the private universities. I'm not talking about a TCU. I'm not talking about an Abilene Christian. I'm not talking about a Baylor. But everybody else has to take the 42. We have no problems with any of our students calling us back and say, Belcher, they didn't take dut, dut, dut. Our classes all go. 
there we you know we have professors that have PhDs and you know da 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 everybody you know whatever. Their professors aren't any smarter than ours. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because technically, this is what I'm going to tell you, and this is the God's honest truth. If you can make an A or B in a science course here at College of the Mainland, you can make an A or B in any university in the state of Texas. I don't care which one you go to. Because they're tough. Tough, tough, tough. So just remember that, because I tell them all the time, who do you have? <laughs> you know, who do you have? But it doesn't make any difference. They're all tough. So you're going to nursing, you're going to the medical field, so be it. It's tough. It's tough. So if you can't, if you're not going to make a good grade here, it's going to be tough is all I'm going to tell you. Not that you'll never be successful. That I'm not going to tell you because everybody, I, I think everybody in here will be successful at some point in their life. Might not be right now, but they will be. Okay, we were speaking earlier about a, a sample schedule. This is just a sample schedule. So high school math classes uh, at a junior level, Algebra 2 and Pre-Cal, the Pre-Cal only meets every other, they meet every day. Monday through Thursday is when they meet. They do meet Monday through Thursday. Uh, geometry is two, two days a week. Uh, the sciences are two days out of the week. They're either Monday, Monday, Wednesdays, or Monday, Tuesdays. It just depends because we need to fit everything in the way the college, because we have to fight for schedules just like everybody else. We're fighting with other 4,000 people to get schedules. They don't, they don't hold classes out for the collegiate high school. Now you might walk into a class and go, oh wow, everybody in here is collegiate high school, but one or two people. Just happen to be open, that's where she's dropping you. You know, it is what, you know. There's certain professors that we, uh, I like to call people kid friendly. I didn't say they gave you grades, but they speak to you. You'll find at some point in your life that you have professors that you'll never see and they'll never speak to you. I don't, I'm not telling you it's right. I'm just telling you that's the way it works. You go off to the major university, instead of having 30 people in a classroom, which most of our classes don't have 30, unless it's high school, you could be one of 250, one of 500. Those aren't numbers that are made up either. You know, history classes, uh, English classes at, 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 at UT and, and uh, at A&M, you know, there's about 500 in the class. They said, you never see the professor, it's only their assistants, that's who you see. So here they get to know you, they know if you hadn't been in class. We don't send a list out and say, hey, these are all collegiate high school students, because I don't want them to treat them any different. Because our kids, I mean, you, got, you know, they're, they're getting a little bit younger as they're coming to school, and uh, so they say it's about 24, 25. So you're in class with anybody from age uh, 13 to age 70, you never know. And I want them to treat you just like they treat that 70-year-old, well, kind of, sort of, but you know what I mean. I don't want to treat them, but ninth week of class, we send out notes to our professors and ask them how you're doing in class. That's kind of like our progress report for, for, for college classes. We used to send out progress reports to parents and have the kids, you sign them and the kids sign them and all that kind of, we quit doing that. Because you find out the kids are not doing the, as well as they should be, they just don't take it to the parents and they don't turn them into us. Mm, done. So now, if we get two or three on one student, oh, well, I'm gonna chew on them. I promise you I'm gonna chew on them. But then we're gonna pick the phone up and call you so you know what's going on too. If they haven't given you access to their web advisor so you can see their grades if they have them in there. But you can see if they've not completed anything for the most part. So we do have, a, that's our safety net, so we know. It's hard to make up a D, like dog, you hear me that? Dog, you don't need those dogs on your transcript. But it's hard to make up a D in 45 days. And that's when the, the, the grades come out, about 45 days afterwards. It's hard. Dickinson takes, no. Dickinson CCISD do not accept Ds. All right? Dickinson and CCISD. So you have to make a C. I can sit in uh, you know, aerospace engineering class and make a C. And go every day. And I'm not smart. But I can listen and I know what they're saying. So go to class. You will not graduate at a major university with a 2.0. You need to know that. Can you at College of the Mainland? Yes. Just saying. So the next one is this is where uh, college grades. Do we have kids that make Fs? Yes. Do we like that they make Fs? No. 
Do they not like me after that? Yes, that's okay. I'm not here to be their friend. I love them, but they need to make good grades. Wasting your money. Do we have those that make these? Yes. Do we have students that cannot handle the um, uh, freedom of being on a college campus? Yes. And so they don't take care of their business in the classroom. Do we send them back? Yes. You're on a college campus, you need to act like a college student. So maturity level is, is huge for us. Huge. So you gotta show some. So, as I said, we have smart kids. I'm not gonna tell you those that have to go back to their main campus are never gonna be successful in college. They're just not gonna be successful right now because they'll be successful. I do believe that. Okay, we have other components that we do with Collegiate High School. That's part of our banquet this last year. Uh, we, they have college workshops on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Between 12.30 and 1.30, there are no classes on College of the Mainland's campus. It's called College Hour. And that's when Student Life does all kind of things on campus for everybody. There's workshops. That way, everyone can attend, including myself, Ms. Rent. We can all attend those. So there's College Hour that they have those type of things. So they'll have a portfolio. They have employability skills. We'll go over that in our, in our success classes as well. Uh, they do some extracurricular kind of intramural type things they do, student life does, and all of our kids are pretty much involved. Our kids are involved on this campus, I don't want to use that, all, a lot. My God. We, there's probably, the Phi, <coughs> excuse me, Phi Theta Kappa is the honor society for the, at the collegiate level. There's not any human resource director that doesn't understand what Phi Theta Kappa is. You are all involved in National Junior Honor Society. Congratulations, that's a, great, that's a great accomplishment. But it will fall off your resume, but Phi Theta Kappa will never leave your resume. Out of the 10, out of the ten uh, officers they have, there's seven of them are probably ours. And that's what they do. Uh, our Student Governor Association, I know the president is a collegiate high school student. I'm just saying, they're, they're extremely involved on our campus. We have a captive audience when our kids are here. They like our kids and they like everything that we do and our kids like to be here. They can join any club here on our campus. There's like 29. We have a club for the collegiate high schools called NUSI. The only people that can be in NUSI are collegiate high school students. But we can join the Spanish club. We can join the biology club. I was talking about late work. Biology club uh, says, professor goes, oh, I, I, I'm in charge of the biology club. We're gonna go clean the beach this week. Guess what? You need to get up on Saturday morning and put your boots on and go clean the beach. Five points could be the difference between a C and a D, a B and an A. Go. Go take advantage of anybody says they're going to give you any extra credit for anything because it does not happen. I can attest to that, or at least when I was in school, there was an extra credit. <laughs> you just do your work. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, here we go. Where are you going to, what else? Critical success factors, like I said. You don't you have to have high academic standards. You have to show some maturity. Listen, I, I guess the first year I was here, I let ninth graders come over. I had two ninth grade boys. Uh, they didn't do so well. So we had to send them back to their campus. They made D's in the, in the biology class. So that's when I knew I didn't need to put freshmen in biology. So they take high school chemistry first, then we put them in biology so they get their feet wet. Had one of them call me back as a, as, a, as, a, as a junior, actually from Texas City. He said, this Belcher, this is Chris. I said, yes, what's up, and whatever. And he says, you know, I really like to come back to the collegiate high school. I think, uh, he said, he said I, I'm so much different now. I said, okay. He said, no, really, <laughs> okay. So he comes back, long story short, he comes over here and graduates with us. And um, he's gonna go to the blend team. Have y'all ever heard blend team with A&M? Blend works with, I mean, Texas A&M and Blend have a, a working relationship. You go to Blend, you take some classes, and then you go to A&M and take some classes, those kind of things. Well, Chris's home environment is probably not the, probably not the best. Not the best. And so he said, well, I'm just gonna go to the Blend team. I mean, he, you know, he's probably got almost a 4.0 here, if not a 4.0. And I said, okay, well, he takes the SAT, he blows the top out of it, y'all. So A&M calls and gives him the presidential scholarship. Yeah. He's an aerospace engineer right now. So things can happen for you. You just kind of have to work at it some, but I mean, you know, 
praise to whoever because that, that was huge for that kid, huge for that kid. So where are we now? So, so maturity, as I said, you need to grow up a little bit. Uh, you have to be motivated. You know, just as I said, no one's sitting there handing on you and go, hey, you need to do your work. You need to do your work. You need to do your work. Because they'll come up for about two or three weeks, and, you know, they're enjoying everybody and, and seeing their friends and things like that, and they're not keeping up with any reading. Because I can promise you on the syllabus, it talks about reading. You need to have, you know, 1 through 15 read before the next meeting or something. And they ain't done it. You're not going to go home and read that, oh, I mean, in an hour. This is real. It's the real thing, y'all. I mean, it's the real thing. It's not, it's not play. Uh, you have to have some goals. I hope, I hope everybody's here. You've got some type of goal. You, you know you want higher education, or you wouldn't be here as well. And I hope you're here not just because your parents are making you, but still. Uh, we do have some students that fi finish the, um, our process technology degree. Use this a semester after they graduate with us just because of the way they run the classes that they can't get them all in. You can get your prereqs for nursing here. You're not going to get a nursing degree while you're at the collegiate high school. It's just not, even if you come over as a ninth grade, it's not going to happen. Just because the way they run the, the nursing program and the way they schedule classes as well. Uh, we do have a bachelor's degree in nursing. Y'all know that? We do. And you haven't met the community college costs, not the university cost. No one cares where you get your nursing degree. You need to pass the test. And everybody takes the same test, no matter if you go to College of the Mainland or you go to UTMB or you go to UT. But you can spend $100,000 or $200,000 to get that nursing degree up there. Or you can come down here and spend ten. Just saying. Just saying. So there's things there. Uh, what do we got next? We do Heart Walk. This is a new site group. Uh, Heart Walk, Ronald McDonald House. We do toy drives, food drives. We do cars for children's hospitals. We've done all of those, and we still do them. So right now they're making things for the banquets. Never have done that. I've never allowed them to do that, but I'm allowing them to do it this time because I, my little brain can't work around all that. What you got next? Okay, so I'm going to say this real quick. I'm not going to go into a whole lot. Uh, I don't know if has there, anybody heard about the Opening Doors Promise Scholarship at your high schools? Oh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. Any seniors? Do we have any parents that have seniors in high school? I can say this about every school district, with the exception of they have to be in our in our they have to be within our taxing district, and those are schools that are in our taxing district. So the Open Doors Promise Scholarship is a scholarship that they can come to College of the Mainland after high school graduation for free. Uh, the different communities have put different money into our foundation, and that's where we are. Now I'm going to tell you it's free, but this is what I'm going to tell you, and it, it included. You have to fill out the financial, if the FAFSA, you have to fill that out. You have to fill it out in order to get that if you have a senior. I have students here that are now in the nursing program for their, for their bachelor's degree program or their two-year ADN program and the Promise Scholarship's paying for it. So uh, watch that when seniors come about, watch it because it's not going anywhere unless the money goes away. It's a great opportunity for students. Carla Vocal, uh, Dickinson High School, uh, Dickinson ISD superintendent. We usually have more students from Dickinson than they used to take the city and Dickinson fight over that one. It's around four, but this year it's Santa Fe and, and, and Dickinson. We had about 48 students. We have about 220 students here on campus right now. Uh, Carla believes in what we do. I know she's interested in growing the program and it sounds great to me. Uh, got a lot of students over at Dickinson. So, my contact information is, is, is underneath on the next slide. I didn't bring any of my cards over here because I wouldn't, I forgot. Ms. Wadding is my administrative assistant. She's there as well. You can call us anytime you want. There's the TSI practice, uh, a website for to practice the, the TSI. Need to get with your high school counselors to find out when the testing dates are. They do have testing dates. This is what I would say that students have the early, uh, like Lamarck, Texas City, Hitchcock, that have that uh, Friday before spring break. 
You can, take it, you can take the TSI more than one time. You need to know that. You can take it more than one time. You can take it one time for free on your campus or here. But if you have to come and retake, it's going to cost you $10. But you need to know that too, okay? You can take it again. It's not an easy test, folks. It's a college placement test. That's what it is. It's not an easy test. Uh, am I going to say, is it, is, is it like uh, the EOC? Yeah, maybe. It's going to be harder. It's going to be a little harder than that. But if you take an Algebra two, you're in good shape if you're a junior and senior. If not, it's going to get hairy as far as the math goes. I think you all got it? Well, I hope we see you guys. I really appreciate you all being here. Your tentative audience. Please don't like our Facebook page. It's brand new. Yeah. She says, go like it. So they'll let us keep it up. And I know you kids don't look at Facebook. Your parents do. <laughs>